Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to emulate PlayStation 3 games using the RPCS3 emulator. It's actually really, really easy. And all you have to do, just open up your web browser, go to rpcs3.net, I'll provide the link to everything that you need, go to download, and go to Windows version. So as you can tell, I'm on, I'm on a Windows machine. I'll do a separate video for Linux as well. So you just click download for Windows, you'll download this, and if you go to the quick start, and you want to download this here, so the system update file, it you can't, you know, they don't provide the update file, so you need to download this. Whatever version is the latest one, that's fine. So click download. I've already got it, so I'm just going to cancel it. And then you want to download this as well. Again, I already got it, so I'm going to cancel it. So this is just the redistributable, so you can run certain C++ applications. And you need a DirectX end user runtime. So go into here, click download. Make sure you deselect this. You do not want to be setting MSN to your default homepage and Bing to your default search engine. They're pretty crafty like that. Click no. And you'll start downloading. I've already like downloaded, but that was fast. And now the only other thing we need is okay, that's it. So you've got some games that you, you know, again, this is just a little disclaimer. This is for educational purposes only. All the games that I'll be showing you, I legally own in physical form, and I have ripped the games myself. So make sure you have a PlayStation 3 and you own the game as well. This video is not condoning piracy. Okay, so we can close the web browser now. Go to wherever your download directory is. For me, that's on D drive called download or E drive, and it's in Chrome. I'll delete the file that I already got duplicates of. First thing, you want to open up the VC redistributable dot six dot x64. I've already done it. It's just a simple installation file. So you just double click that, open it, and install it really quick. Do the same for DX web setup. Again, because I've already done it and I've already got it, I'm not going to you know just waste your time for that. And it's just simple executables. Now you want to unzip this file. You can I recommend 7-zip because that's what it's compressed with so go to 7-zip extract to and you can get 7-zip via 7-zip 7-zip.org i'll provide a link to that as well okay so once that's downloaded you want to open up the rpcs3.exe you'll you know, create a bunch of other files that's fine click i have read the quick start guide Click continue. If you do not want to show this again, you can click that, but it doesn't bother me. Click continue. Now, what you want to do is go to configuration. There's hardly any configuration you have to do. But go to GPU. CPU, you're going to leave. GPU, I recommend Vulkan. The odd game might run best in OpenGL, but most of them work better in Vulkan. And if you are playing Demon Souls, you will need to select right color buffers. Again, it's just a limitation on Demon Souls, just bear that in mind. You can change the resolution naturally, changing the resolution, adding extra anti aliasing, increasing the resolution scale, the resolution scale threshold, all of that stuff to do with textures and resolution will mean that it requires more you know, computing power, therefore, you need a more powerful computer. And everything else can remain the same. One last thing I'm going to do is go to configuration. Go to pads. This is basically your controllers. So you can configure up to seven controllers because that's the maximum number of controllers that the PlayStation 3 allowed you to connect. And you can either wire it up or connect it and hook it up with a keyboard. And then you can map these up so you could click it and then you know it's waiting for a response. I'm not going to press anything. Leave it as default. Or what you can do is go for DualShock 4, so your, your PlayStation 4 controller, hook that up. I'm using an Xbox controller because the drivers are really, really easy. So that will be X input. And as you can see, I'm moving it down at the bottom. If you look down here, as you can see, I'm moving the joysticks down that is needed. So to actually play games, first of all, you have to go to File, Install Firmware. You need to install that firmware that you downloaded from the Sony website. So this PS3 update. Pup, double click that, 
wait for this to install and once this is done we're actually ready to start playing games okay successfully installed ps3 firmware and lle modules and it's just going to compile the ppu modules after that we can actually launch a game up so one extra thing i want to show you while this just sets that up is if you go to this folder here if you want to add games to this directory so you automatically refresh the library you want to go to dev underscore hdd0 then go to disk and put all the games that you've ripped right here there is more information on the website depending on how you know what format you have the game in if you go to quick start scroll down and here we go it just shows you the title formats as well and some extra information and any drives that le i mean legitimately not legit i don't mean legitimately i mean that are able to actually dump playstation games i did it via my ps3 you can check out the roadmap check compatibility at the moment not all games are compatible but as with any emulator they become more and more compatible as time goes on so this is almost compiled now that that is done we can open up games so if you click this open button so i mean sorry file add games click that now you if you automatically added them to this directory then you can just click refresh and it'll load them up i've got them on an external hard drive here so they're all here and if i just click select folder you'll literally just open up all the games and add it to my library what i love about the rpcs3 emulator is that you can you can literally see that they've learned the community has in terms of being able to create really good emulating tool not only is there more visual elements on the newer tools it shows you stuff like compatibility inside of it sporting resolution like a lot of information that it shows and it gets automatic you know the thumbnails whereas old emulators for like playstation one and you know even going into ps2 the, they just weren't as you know i want to say robust but just as well round, rounded compatibility is quite low at the moment so the one game that i have that is fully playable is minecraft so if i just select it double click it and this little process where you compile the ppu modules a few other little small windows will open as well will take a bit of time that's fine you just have to be patient and the game will launch so again just gotta be patient i'm i'm here and we'll be starting very very soon
Okay, so we're almost there now. Okay, so we are in the game. If you want to maximize it, you just press Alt, Enter. And that's the case for pretty much all games. And if I just turn the volume up. Now I'll just quickly get into the game. Just showing you working. This is just at the default resolution of 1280 by 720 which for Minecraft is fine. For other games, you might want to experiment, try and get you know, more anti-aliasing, high resolution, high resolution scale, just to make the game look as good as possible. Because I've seen some games, honestly, that they almost look like PlayStation 4 level because of some of the really cool things that you can do in the you know, RPS, RPCS3 emulator. So once this little thing launches up, I'll just quickly show you, and then we're done, really, that's it. Preparing chunks, whatever that means. Finalizing. There we go. We now have a working PS3 emulator. If you're thinking it's running a bit laggy, that's only because I'm recording as well. I tested it before making this video, and it's fine when I'm not recording. But it's still. Uh, kind of playable while I'm recording, but again, you wouldn't be recording the video plus in this way while playing the game. Let's see if I can kill the cow. Come back here. Yep, kill the cow. And that is it. So that's the main thing that I wanted to show you is how to set it up. I press click X fine that's it any more games that you add you can click refresh and you can configure it for the controllers for the GPU and apart from that that is it there's nothing much more that you have to do really powerful really simple but if you have any questions about anything feel free to pop me a message and as usual I look forward to seeing you in the next video